Hi guys, guess which system inside the BMW is the most annoying? Of course, it is a start-stop system. Yes, I understand it's made for a college and so on and so on, but it's just so annoying. First, it's not good for your starter, it's not good for your timing chains, it's not good for your battery, and it's not good for your brains as well. Because every time you stop behind the traffic light, it, it just dies and so on. It's just annoying. So every time I buy a new BMW, the first thing I do is decoding the start-stop. Of course, I did that on my new BMW as well. It is G20 LCI. But uh, because that car has automatic software update capability, the software was updated. And of course, the start-stop is gone now. So today, I'll show you how to decode that so you can benefit from your BMW in the best way. As usual, let's go practical and let's talk about different BMW start-stop systems. Over here we have G-Series, actually we don't have F-Series, but it doesn't matter. Over here we have also the E-Series. And yes, on E-Series start-stop system was also present. With start-stop system, actually we have two options. It is present or it is not present. For example, on that E60, by the way, it's the E60 of my neighbor, I hope he is not against. Uh, that I'm filming his car to the YouTube, and if you are watching that, say hello to the YouTube. So on the E-Series, um, in majority of E-Series, start-stop system is not present at all. That's why it's not the topic of that video. But on some E-Series, for example, it is X3 in E84 chassis, over there, start-stop system is present, and it is actually software-wise located in very weird ECU. It is located in the climate ECU, you can recognize by that button. So if you will be trying to disable start-stop system on E-Series, go to the Climate or ICA ECU. You'll find the needed parameters over there. But let's jump back to the more modern cars where start-stop system is present everywhere. So we're talking about the G-Series and, of course, the F-Series. As we already know, we have two options, start-stop system present or not present at all. If the start-stop system is present, again, we have two options. For example, on all F-Series and on older G-Series, for example, like my uh, G30, the start-stop system is present with the button. What does it mean? It means that you, as a driver, you have, again, two choices. Every time you go to the car, you can manually disable it, and that's why deactivate it, which is obviously very, very annoying. That's why your second option is to uh, take a laptop with the ACES installed or whatever other applications able to code your BMW and make it uh, working with the memory. What does it mean? It means that if you recode it, so memory will be activated, every time you click it off, it will remain off and you don't have to worry about that every single time. In today's video, of course, I will show you how it works on the basis uh, on that uh, white G30 as well. But the way bigger problem is with the newer G-Series, for example, that G20 LCI or that uh, 4 Series. Over there, we have star subsystem present, but there you will not find the button to disable it manually. That's why you, as a driver, don't have any possibility to disable it every single time. It's just not doable. You have just to suffer from it, or you have to use, again, your laptop and your knowledge you got from my channel and to deactivate it permanently. And the scope of today's video will be how to deactivate startup system on the cars where memory button is not present. And as a bonus, I'll show you how to disable it on the cars where that button is present. Let's jump into the car and let's go practical. We are inside my G20, it is LCI 2024. We'll need the laptop with installed ACES and mandatory Beamdog sticker and, for example, Enet cable. You can make the same work with whatever other tools, for example, with uh, Beamer code, MHD, or whatever other Bluetooth adapter that's compatible with your phone. It's very basic coding procedure. But now, have a look over here. You can see the start-stop button. The start-stop button means that you can start the engine without the keys inserting anywhere, but it is not disabling the start-stop system. Over here, you can see no button you can disable start-stop system. It is, do not mess that 
uh, starts to bottom with start stop system. Those are different systems. As you can see over here, there is no additional button, as you will see on my G30, for example. In all G series, the parameter to disable start stop system will be located in engine ECU. So let's fire up the ACs. Let's go to the engine ECU and I'll show you which parameter to disable. How to connect properly to the car with the help of the computer unit cable and ACs. See my ACs for damaged manuals. Of course, every method could have some downsides. For example, that method on the cars where start-stop memory button is not present, if you disable that system, you will have error in the diagnostics that something is not working. But no worries, please have a look to the screen. When we are looking to the car, you can see no entries. So basically, there will be no error stored in the way that the driver will see. So car will be not warning or notifying you about anything. So from a driver perspective, you are absolutely okay. The only place you will have the error is when you connect the car and make the diagnostics, establishing connection to the vehicle. Reading out vehicle order, reading out issues. And the parameter we are searching for will be located in the engine ECU because it is G series. Going inside the engine ECU, all the procedure exactly as I showed you in my ACs for dummies manuals. Over here we'll have the parameter called MSA. This is the one we have to change. We also will have another parameter called MSA memory. Yes, over here we can see it. But on current car, it will not work. Over here, at the moment, you can see it's off. And even if you put it on, it will give you nothing. Because that parameter, TCM MSA memory, means you have to have the button to press to activate that memory. But we don't have it. That's why we're using the regular MSA parameter. So over here, MSA. And the thing we need to know, we have to do over here, as you can see, if you make the right click and it's only on, you cannot do anything with that. That's why you go to the word parameter, you press edit and over here, down over here, you have to put two zeros. Now you click apply settings, you click, click save and now we have to code that ECU. Let's go back, but before pressing code, there is one super important detail. Usually when you're working in the car outside, the engine is running, but it is not allowed to code engine ECU while the engine is running because during the coding process, the ECU will make a restart and it's not a good idea to restart engine ECU while engine is running. That's why you have to turn off the engine and turn on the diagnostic mode. On G-Series, it is done when you're pressing three times start-stop button quickly. And over here on the screen, you can actually see that diagnostics mode is active. You can see the check engine sign, but the engine is not working. Now you are safe to code your engine issue. Only now you can press code NCD. If it shows your S1 switch is not closed, just ignore it and press yes. Coding process is happening. It should take 5-10 seconds, no more, because it's just coding, it's not the programming. So it took actually 16 seconds. Pressing close, zero errors, that's good. Try to start the engine. You are starting the engine, everything works. And now let's make the diagnostics. Because I'm using the ACES Ultra, we can make the diagnostics inside the launcher without uh, going anywhere. Let's clear the errors. Read again. At the moment, it shows only the error in instrument cluster. It is due to the region change. It's not connected here, and you can don't see any more errors. As I told you before, 
you could have the error in the diagnostics present. It will be not present anywhere on the dashboard, so you or your client will be not affected by that. But if you're making diagnostics, you could have error that MSC or uh, Starship system is not functioning properly. It is absolutely okay to have. At the moment you have seen, you don't have that error because we haven't been driving the car. That's why the error, error was not recognized. But it will appear there uh, over some time. Just ignore it or enjoy beautiful Starship system. I prefer to live with that error and not being affected by annoying Starship system. Now let's jump to my G30 because over there star subsystem is a bit different. I'll show you how to change the same parameter over there. Why? Because the same principle will be applied to the all F series as well. Let's go over there. Now we are in my G30 and have a look to the star subsystem. You can see the same star stop button and the button to activate it or deactivate it. At the moment you can see the light is off. It means the system is activated. If I want to deactivate it, I just press it. Now you can see the light is on. It means it is deactivated. But the problem is that if you have deactivated it, every time you turn off the engine, you leave the car, you come back to the car, you start the engine, you can see the system is active again. So you manually have to deactivate it every single time. And it, and it is ridiculously annoying. That's why here is the method how to make it with the memory. So if you press it on or off, it will remain off or on exactly as you prefer. Principle is the same. We're going inside the engine ECU. Press read coding data. Going inside the coding file. The same MSA. And actually here you can see again the same parameter MSA. So you can disable it exactly the same way as on the previous car. But then you will have all the same circumstances. So basically you will have error present. That's why we need parameter called MSA memory and over here it's off at the moment you press right click edit and make it on and on that car it will be possible because we have the button I have just show you a couple seconds ago and again press save go back and before pressing code you have to switch to the diagnostics mode exactly under the previous car one two three and pressing code NCD while the car is being coded, one more additional information for you. I'm always being asked, not always, but often being asked, hey, Vladimir, if I'm coding my engine ECU, will my chip tuning stay over there or it will be wiped out? No, the chip tuning is not affected by coding anyhow. That car has stage one chip tuning done and coding is absolutely safe to the chip tuning because those parameters are stored in the separate part of the memories. Coding will not affect chip tuning anyhow, so it is safe and the coding is completed you can see zero errors let's go to the car and see the result so i'm starting the car i'm turning off the system i'm shutting down the car and you can see the indicator is still off i'm starting the car and you can see the memory is still active but if you prefer to drive with the start stop system on you can activate it you can kill the car you can start the car and the system will remain exactly in the same state as you has previously left it. Because that G30 is from 2017, so it is the early G series. All the same things will be applicable to the F series as well, as I have shown you in the uh, G30. The only difference is that the place where that parameter, uh, MSA memory, will be located. In G series, as I told you before, it will be located in the engine ECU always on the f series it will be located in the ecu that is responsible for the security where the keys are written for example it will be located in the bdc fem ecu or the cas ecu those three options easy as that perfect now i can again enjoy driving my bmw without that annoying start stop system and now you also know how to do that and of course, the newest, newest cars, which uh, do have NCD 2.0 secure coding. Over there, it's actually, that's it, done. Because if your ECU is locked with the secure coding, you will be not able to go inside the ECU to change the parameters. The only way to disable Starstop is to install some third-party addition things to just trick your car 
or with the help of their chip tuning. So it's not soluble in the coding anymore. If you do find my videos useful, absolutely subscribe to my channel. If you still haven't done that, hit likes, write your comments about your thoughts. And guys, see you next time. Bye.